Hello there, this is Rich from HouseBurns.com. Our family renovates houses, and today we're going to do a video review of this gas trimmer, and it's made by a company called Husqvarna, which is a Swedish company. And this one, the model is 128LD. I was just checking it out on Amazon, and it had almost 2,000, it was like 1,900 ratings, and the people gave it 4.6, so, that's overall, I would consider to be quite a good rating. And currently we're maintaining grounds at four different residential properties, plus two different farms. And so we're doing a lot of trimming. We just picked this up last at the end of last season and we really like it. So in this video, we're gonna go over the features of it. We'll show you how to start it and let you know what we think about it. Well, if you're new to our channel, consider subscribing because we want to show you how to do a job yourself so you can save a ton of money. Isn't that right, Wyatt? Okay, so right off the bat, probably the feature that we like the best is its cutting path is 17 inches. So that's a really nice amount to be able to trim. Also, it's got this straight shaft and the reason for that is so that you can reach up under shrubs or you know, low hanging branches or whatever you need to do in order to trim the area. They made the gas tank translucent so you can see the amount of fuel that you have left in it. When you need new trimmer line, this trimmer head has a tap and go feature. It's right there, this blue one. You just tap this on the ground and that will release new trimmer line. This is the kind of trimmer line that it uses. It's 0.095 inches and it's really strong line. And since we're doing so much trimming, we bought this giant spool of it and that's the most economical way to go. They have much smaller spools, so I guess it just depends on how much you need. And we're going to make another video, and that's gonna show you all the details of how you replace the trimmer line. It's not difficult, but there are a few steps to it, and so we're gonna put that in another video, and when that's available, we'll put a link to it right there. So the fuel mixture for this, it's, it's gas, and then it also needs some oil. This is two-stroke oil, and we're mixing it 2.6 ounces is in this bottle and we're mixing that with one gallon of gas. Your trimmer should include one of these little bottles. One really cool feature about this trimmer is that there's three other attachments that you can buy and use with it. You would attach the trimmer and you could add on an edger so that you could get you know perfect edging on your sidewalks or wherever else you need to do that. And they also have a mini cultivator and so if you have a small garden, you can use that to cultivate it. And in addition, there's a saw so that you can use it like a pole saw. Those are optional attachments that you can buy for it depending on what jobs you're trying to get done outside. This trimmer has a detachable shaft so that you can transport it easily. And all you have to do is unloosen this bolt here and then just push this little button in and the shaft will detach comes in half for storage or for transportation, whatever you need. This trimmer is 11 pounds, so it's pretty lightweight. It feels comfortable to hold and operate. So the air filter is right here above the gas tank. You can just unloosen this little knob here, pull that off, and there's the air filter. And that just pulls out. And you can clean this with soapy water. Be sure to wear your safety glasses when you operate this gas trimmer. The spark plug is just here on top and you could replace that if it's the start of the new season. Now to start this trimmer, the first thing we're gonna do is purge the air out of it with this air purge right here and we're gonna press that 10 times. Okay, there's 10. Now since this is a cold start, we're gonna do full choke and that's this blue lever right here. And we just slide it all the way over to the full choke position. We'll pull the starter cord three times. Now we're gonna put it to half choke. So you just slide the blue lever halfway. Now we're gonna pull it to start it. And once it starts, we're gonna put the choke off. Squeeze this trigger and that will give it its power. Okay. 
All right, I had to change the trimmer line. Since this engine's already warmed up, we're gonna do a warm start, which means we'll just put the choke to halfway, which is right there, and then we'll pull it to start, and then we'll take off the choke. To turn it off, you just hit the stop button right there, little red button. And so we'll just go over quickly a few pros and cons. As far as pros go, this gas power trimmer was under $200, so we think that is a good deal and also it's really easy to use and probably the best thing about it is its power so out here at the farm the weeds that we need to clear out are pretty thick and so this trimmer is able to go through them and we're very happy about that as far as cons go probably just a couple of things sometimes with the trimmer line like you go to tap it and it doesn't seem to work so what you can do manually is push on that and you can you can pull either string out you know once <laughs> once you have it turned off and unplug the spark plug it works better if you tap it on a hard surface the other issue for me is just changing the trimmer line and i wouldn't say it's hard but it's not simple so i've had other trimmers where it was easier to change the line but overall we would definitely recommend this trimmer we're Amazon affiliates and you can use the link in the description below and Amazon will ship your Husqvarna 128LD trimmer right to your home. So if you got anything out of the video, if you could hit the thumbs up button, that would help out our channel. We appreciate it. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do because we have a ton of home improvement videos on the way. Thanks very much for viewing and we'll see you in this video.